Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's DJ. So today's video is not going to be a toy review, instead it's going to be a toy photography tutorial. I've had a few people ask me how I go by taking my shots and I thought I'd break down my most simple shot so anyone could follow along. So the figure I'm working with today is the Azrael Batman from McFarland Toys. So, if you can, I would recommend using a tripod for your shots. Um, it just reduces any shake and will give you the most clear picture possible. If you don't have a tripod, try set something up that you can keep it still. Um, but I am working off my little desk here. Uh, it's just a fold-out shelf, but I recommend it's at waist height. Perfect for if you're using a tripod like me. Um, the background mm -hmm. here is just going to be a black t-shirt. That's something anyone has. I'm going to show you real quick that you can just peg it up behind the background you intend to shoot. Uh, I happen to have blinds, so I can just kind of fold the blinds in and it holds down. Now, I'm not going to be using a t-shirt for this shot. But I just show this to prove how easy it is just to have a black background for any shot. You don't have to use a black t-shirt, you can use a black rug, anything, it doesn't even have to be black, just dark. Um, but instead I'm going to be using a big piece of card I have here. And I got this card a while ago, it's just in an art and hobby shop. It wasn't expensive, but it works really well and I can just set it up on my worktop. I also went and ahead and cut a smaller piece that will just take up the floor base. So I mean these aren't necessary, it can all be achieved with just a black t-shirt. But just for purpose's sake, I'm going to do this. Okay, the background sorted, and let's go for posing the figure. This is one of the most important parts of a shot, in my opinion. And um, so we want to convey as much movement or any sort of thing that will bring the photo to life. Here I've posed Azrael with a lean forward and the sword in hand. Posing sorted, it's all about the lighting now. So I use three little puck lights that I bought on Amazon for 15 euro. Really inexpensive, they just work off battery. They have several different colours and they come with a remote control. I'm going to zoom in and see the name there. Yeah, so they're really handy, they fit in the background of shots and they have multiple colour settings I said. So I'm going to go for red to convey the fire on the side of Azrael's face. I'm going to go for a bit of white light to just up light onto his face to just throw a photo onto the photo. And then I'm going to cast some more light from afar to just light up the whole figure in general. Okay, we're happy with the light so let's go dark. Um, once you're dark you need to make sure the figure itself is in the frame. Also make sure that the lights are shining where you want them to be and maybe you might need to make some minor adjustments. It's all good. Take the time at this stage, get happy with your placement of the figure and all that. In this shot I'm using my Canon 1100D EOS. I am by no means a cameraman. I have no clue half the time what I'm doing. It's a lot of been just trial and error. Uh, some people do ask what camera I use. And it's also a 50, 55 by 18mm lens. So for this shot, these are the settings I actually used on the camera itself. I have the ISO up at 1600, I have the f-stop at a 5.6, actually the lowest it will go on my camera. And then the shutter speed is at one quarter of a second. Um, so it's quite fast, but that's why I have a lot of light there to actually light the figure, because the shutter speed will be so fast. Um, so these are the settings for that picture. So once you're happy with the settings, make obviously a few more minor changes with the lights, and we'll get ready for the shot. Uh, I use a timed shoot on my camera so that there is no shake at all for me pressing the button of the the camera itself. And here's the result of the shot. So it worked out pretty well. And um, because one puck light was standing up and facing down, it has shown more light onto the figure. But I'm happy with that effect. I do have a, a way around that to get more light on the figure. I will show you now in the further video. It's a bit more technical, but we'll get through it. So the other way is called light painting. And it's manipulating the camera and using light to paint figure you could say in a certain way so I'll explain it now but just really quick these are the settings for the light painting technique that I figured out myself I am by no means giving you advice this is just like what I found has worked for me so I've got the ISO at a really low 100 I've got the f-stop again at the normal lowest that I can possibly get it and then the shutter speed I've actually gone for four seconds so it's longer it allows more light into the lens now that I have that four seconds shutter speed I'm actually going to use one of the puck lights to paint light around the figure. So I've made the whole setup a bit darker and as you can see I'm now waving the light around slowly of the figure in the four seconds that it's taking the picture. Now this technique allows light to literally touch every single part of the figure. It has a really nice detail and focuses all the light on the figure itself. So it's a completely different technique and it will give completely different results. And it is called light painting and it was actually told to me by a friend of mine called John Aesthetic One on Instagram. You should give him a check out. 
So as you can see with the settings on the camera now and using the light to go around the figure itself, I've created this really nice lit up detailed crisp image of the Azrael figure. Completely different to the, the shot I got before but we'll do a comparison now. So as you can see the, the difference is nearly night and day. Because I only lit one side of the figure on the left, all the detail is really exaggerated on that side but there's a nice shadows on the other end. But then in the figure on the right, because I light painted and I took my time with the light going around, it has really brought out the detail in the figure and I really like the results. So thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you learned something. Let me know if you did in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you again.